It is not a secret that speaking multiple languages can give you huge advantages in life. But today I'm going to talk about the struggles that you have when you speak multiple languages. The first struggle is that sometimes you don't even know what language you're speaking. And usually the wrong language comes at the worst time. And now ladies and gentlemen for the speech, the best man, Diego. Bueno, pues estamos aquí reunidos para el matrimonio de Wendy y Andrew. Esta es una ocasión muy especial para todos. Me parece que es genial. Number two may seem like an advantage, but don't be fooled. When you speak multiple languages, your vocabulary will inevitably grow. The problem is you cannot really express these concepts and communicate them to, other, to others. Yo, you want a cookie? Oh, thank you. Mm. You want another one? No, thanks. I don't want to eh, empalagarme. Yeah, like, like when you, when you have too much sweet, it's that sensation that you feel, yeah. Number three is people always try to impress you with their language skills, no matter how terrible they are, and they don't care if you're not in the mood either. Yo, you speak Spanish? I took two years in middle school. Mi casa es su casa, comprende? Yeah, yeah. Estoy embarazado de mi español malo. Malo mi español. Number four relates to technology. You're autocorrect when you text in multiple languages goes crazy. You either have to change between multiple keyboards, Spanish, French, emoji, English, or your autocorrect takes over and it's usually the wrong language. Oh, God damn it, mucus gravitas. God damn it, mucus grace. Ugh, muchas gracias, there we go. Number five is that people don't usually get your jokes and you have no resource but to laugh alone. Knock, knock, who's there? Hatch, hatch who? Bless you. <laughs> I got one, I got one. I went to the store and asked for a t-shirt of a famous character. And the guy was like, Gandhi? And I was, Medini. <laughs> okay. Number six is that you automatically become an expert and ambassador in anything related to your language or culture, even if you don't know so much about it. You speak Spanish? What do you think of the situation in Spain with the new president? Or what about the economic crisis that Argentina is facing right now? What are your thoughts on that? That usually happens to me at Mexican restaurants. People always want to know what all of the items in the menu are, but I wasn't raised with Mexican food, so sometimes I don't know. Diego, what is a chalupa? Huh? <laughs> Number seven, and very related to the previous one, is that because people take you as an expert or ambassador, you have to play it up a little bit. Can you give me a burrito, por favor? Number nine is that people will always ask you to translate songs and sometimes you just discover how nasty these songs are. Despacito, despacito, Diego, Diego, translate this for me. Despacito, I love it. Okay, okay, easy. Slowly, I want to breathe in your neck. Want to whisper to your ear? Uh, uh, maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> Number nine is that you have different personalities in each different language, and that's something that you have to deal with. Yeah, I'm just a little bit quiet and shy, you know. Fiesta, que fantastica, fantastica esta fiesta, que fantastica, fantastica esta fiesta. 
que fantástica, fantástica esta fiesta. Last but not least, people don't really understand your expressions. You know, I was thinking of something, but the dove let me. Oh? Huh? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this content and tell us what are some struggles that you have if you speak multiple languages or if, or if your friends speak multiple languages. Let us, know, let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more hilarious videos about Spanish language and culture. Adios.